So we're here again with Robert Connell Clark, cannabis researcher. And uh, so Rob, you've told us a little bit about the various species of cannabis. Can you tell us a little bit about how they've evolved, a little of the prehistory of cannabis? Certainly. Um, when we look at the origins of cannabis, everyone pretty much has pointed towards Central Asia. This is a logical choice since cannabis obviously originated somewhere in Eurasia and spread to the rest of the world from there. We know this historically. Central Asia is centrally located, so cannabis could have spread east, west, south, almost any direction from there. It was a crossroads later in times and historical periods for a lot of trade, the Silk Roads system, things like this. And we follow this as well. But we want to look very far back in prehistory. We want to look at, at the last ice age, for instance, the Pleistocene ice age. During the Pleistocene glaciations, which peaked about 18,000 years ago, the beginning of the Holocene was 12,000 years ago. This is the epoch that we live in, that modern humans have flourished in. This period of global warming, natural global warming, that began 12,000 years ago something we have exacerbated through pollution, but something that exists, in, it's a background of warming that we, that we have. But during this Pleistocene glaciation, where did cannabis live? Cannabis needs a warm, temperate climate, it needs rainfall, it can't have places that are too dry, too cold, and mostly the northern hemisphere, to, to quite far south really, was covered with ice. The ice packs reached across most of North America, and in Europe you saw much the same thing across Eurasia. So, where could cannabis have found refuge from the ice? Where could it have survived the Pleistocene glaciations, this very cold, dry period? When we look at reconstructions of past climates, these are usually based on pollen profiles. The scientists take pollen from soil samples, they look and see what kind of trees largely lived in these areas, and they reconstruct the type of vegetation they think lived there. When we look at these reconstructions, we see that two regions stand out where cannabis would have found an appropriate climate. This is the Black Sea region, the Caucasus Mountains, north and east of the Black Sea, possibly the Black Sea Basin itself, and the area in southwest China that's the, called the Hangduan Yungui Plateau. This is the Hangduan Mountains and the Yunnan Guizhou Plateau. This is in northern present day Yunnan province, would be a likely area. And from these areas, as the Holocene began and the earth warmed and the ice receded, these two areas are where cannabis could spread from and repopulate northern hemisphere, all across Eurasia. We see now that we have two species. This is we spoke in the last episode about two species, cannabis sativa and cannabis indica. And although we can expect that they had a common ancestor, we see that they're separate species now. So possibly in our hypothetical scenario, Cannabis originated in Central Asia before the last Ice Age, probably a hundred thousand or more years ago. And when the ice conquered the Northern Hemisphere, spread down from, from the poles, and pushed cannabis southward, it fell into two refugia. It fell into the Black Sea Caucasus area. This is where we feel cannabis sativa originated. This is near where we find cannabis sativa populations today. The cannabis indica species we feel originated in northern Yunnan province. From there it could have spread easily across the Himalayan foothills into India as it warmed up and, and became more humid. And it could have spread south into Southeast Asia and eastwards across China, a relatively flat expanse between the coasts and the mountains, and spread quite quickly to Korea and the peninsula and eventually Japan. Our oldest archaeological evidence in a human setting is from Japan. It's 10,000 years ago, a seed found in an archaeological expedition. So we know cannabis had reached that far very early in the Holocene. 
So that's basically how I ended up with the two species, Cannabis sativa, native to Europe and Eastern Europe, used only for fiber and seed, and a separate species that evolved the gene for production of THC and spread all around the rest of Eurasia and much of the rest of the world. But this explains a bit of how we came up with the different taxa, the different taxonomic groups, and this is what we use along with the system we explained, the taxonomic naming system we explained in the last episode of part two. All of this is in Cannabis Evolution and Ethnobot. This is written by Mark Merlin at the University of Hawaii and, we, and myself, of course. And we use this system we explained in the last episode to name these varieties. Now we've shown you the historical, prehistorical, if you will, background to cannabis and how these different taxa evolved. In the future, we'll talk about other aspects of cannabis evolution. Thank you, Rob. We'll get more into some of those other subjects in the next video. Very good. Thank you, Mike.